Hey guys, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a simple layered sand succulent planter. I just posted a picture a couple weeks ago of a few of these and a lot of you liked them and I told you I would show you how to do it. So I'm gonna show you how and it's really easy. First, let me show you what you're gonna need for this project. A glass container and then a second container that's smaller in size. You'll need cactus soil, an assortment of cactus and succulents, whatever plants that you like the look of. You'll need a stiff piece of paper. I'm using a nice Joann's coupon ad here. You'll need something to water with, and I actually really like to water with this big syringe. I have a few rocks for decoration in the end, and then an assortment of sands, and I'm gonna use black, uh, blonde, and then this really pretty aqua colored sand. And then a moisture meter comes in really handy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually plant up my succulents, and that is what I'm gonna use the smaller container for. So I'm just gonna put in a little bit of cactus soil in the bottom. And this aloe is obviously too big, but there's a bunch of little plants in here and I'm just gonna separate them and take one out for this. This is a blue elf aloe and I think it's really pretty and it will add some dramatic height inside of our container. Plant that in there. And then I'm gonna use this Echeveria romalette. I'm not 100% sure that's how you say it, but I think that this green color looks really pretty with this blue. I'll remove some of the soil and make sure to groom them up really good. There's usually a few little dead leaves at the base. And that'll go in right on the front part of this container. And then I'm gonna use a couple of these Graptocetum um, California Sunset. I love these plants and I use them almost every time I do a succulent arrangement. I love the little red color that it has in its leaves. And I've got a couple little sections. I've got this one in the front and then I've got a section in the back. So I'm just gonna use two of them and tuck them in. Twirl it around. See, so I've got that one last spot that I'm gonna tuck this one in. And that gives it a little height. Looks really pretty. All right, and then now that the succulent planter portion is done, I'm gonna take my bigger container and then gently just ease this down in. The reason why I use a smaller container inside my bigger one is I want there to be just enough space to create some really pretty sand layers, but all of the soil and the water that I'm using to water my plants is all contained so that that water is not escaping out and messing up all my sand. So we're almost done. This is where I will use my stiff piece of paper. I'll get this centered in the middle and this will help me, I'm gonna actually have to take off a piece here. But this is full of coupons, I don't wanna wreck it. <laughs> So I just tore out a little piece of paper out of the middle of the book because it was just a little bit too big. You just want it big enough to just kind of tuck down in there and just guide that sand around the plants. So I'm gonna start with a layer of black and just drop it in. And I'm just gonna do that all the way around the outside of this smaller container. And I just kind of do it unevenly. I don't really like it to be just straight layers of sand, so I just drop a little bit more in some areas and less in others. And I'm just gonna continue layering sand until I just barely cover the top of that little container inside. Now the last thing I like to do is add a couple of rocks just for some textural difference on top. So I'm just gonna tuck a few. I think there could be one right back in here. Maybe one more. And maybe a couple of small ones up front here. That is all there is to it. It is so, so simple, but it looks so neat. The number one question I get asked when I do a succulent arrangement like this, especially if there is no drainage, is how I water it. And I actually like to use a great big syringe. This looks kind of scary, but it makes watering super easy. Um, all I do is I direct the water right down to where the roots start and I just dribble just a little bit in. You do not want to overwater when there's no drainage. Um, that's where the moisture meter comes in really, really handy. You just slip this down in, not right in the middle of the roots, but just toward the outside of the container, and it, the little dial will tell you how moist it is. And actually, the back of the package of all of these things usually has a guide on 
what number you should be looking for. So like the succulents and cactus on here should be right about at a three on the moisture meter. So if I stick this down in, I get between a two and a three, so I watered perfectly. So I'll just stick this in about once a week and see where the water uh, rates in at, and then I'll know whether or not I need to water. So that's it. We have to wrap it up because it is starting to thunder and lightning in the distance and the wind's starting to blow. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe below, and if you're not following us on Facebook or Instagram, follow us there. And if you do decide to try this project, please send me pictures. I love it when people do that, when they try one of the projects that's in one of our videos. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.